So in this tutorial, we're going to look how to create junctions in PDS. But before we start, we need to understand first the way PDS works. So first, we need to understand how the horizontal alignment comes in play when we're going to do our junctions. In the horizontal alignment step, this is where we define that, hey, this is a road, but also this road is connected to road two, for example. And that is where we add the junction. So PDS can know later on when we add a junction between those two roads, it already registered. It's the way it's been built. So we're gonna go through the steps of creating the horizontal alignment, connecting them, defining a junction, bringing our profile in, making a vertical alignment, and then projecting it, inserting a carriageway, and then at the end, inserting our junction. So if you're just curious about the step of adding the junction, skip to the timestamps below to the ones that you wanna focus on but we're gonna cover everything briefly. We're not gonna go in depth on it, on how to do it. We have other tutorials for that. So without further ado, let's begin. So for the purpose of this tutorial, we prepared a CAD file, which you will find in the download link, and it has all the road alignments. Now I also have exploded them so they can be lines, so you can generate horizontal alignments faster. So we have imported in PDS, and also in the download file, you will also find a models existing DGM ground file. Uh, file. It's a pretty straightforward one. So what we're gonna do now, to design a junction, it all starts from the horizontal alignment because we need to tell PDS that road one has a junction with road A, and this step happens during the horizontal design. So we're gonna go to our pad module. In the horizontal design tab, we're gonna select a line. We're just gonna create a new road, name it road A, and then okay. Then we're gonna go generate horizontal alignment, and we're gonna again give it road A. You can actually skip the first step. I was going for a straight one. But we can go oh, automatically invoke connect alignment and prompt with connect alignment dialog with settings. And we're gonna hit okay. So we're gonna select the line, right click, and it'll tell us that's the direction. You can see the arrow there. And if we hit enter, we're gonna do horizontal alignment, okay. And at the moment, because we haven't done any other roads, if we go to add junction, it's not gonna pick up any other roads. For the time being, we're gonna click OK. And we're gonna file the alignment. And you can see this is a semi road A, it's 190 meters long. And we're gonna do the same thing for road one. So we're gonna change that to road one, hit OK, select the line, I click, we're happy with the direction. I always like my road falling away from the main road. Right click again, okay. And now in the select add, add to add junction, we're gonna hit add. And in this window is split into three sections. The start of the alignment, the middle, and the end. So basically here we tell PDS that, hey, road one at the start of it, it has a junction with road A. So we're gonna go to junction with, digitize and we're going to select road a and you can see it picked it up now because road one doesn't have any more junctions that's it we don't have to do anything else and we're just going to hit okay and we go accept and yes now this step was crucial because when we come later on add junction pds already knows ah there is a junction between road a and road one so basically we're telling pds they're connected now the next one what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna do the horizontal alignment and name it road two but what I'm going to do is instead of, I'm not going to add any junctions. I'm just going to hit OK and yes. And OK. Now, if I go to connect alignment again and do road one, actually. And you can see it's for road one. Yes, I want to do these for road one. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to modify the junctions. And I'm going to tell it that within road, road A, there is a road 2. So I'm going to go digitize, select road 2, and you can see it picked it up. So in the middle, we have road 2 at chain edge of 45.2. Now, you don't have to do it back and forth for each road. As soon as you design the spine road, when you come and start adding these, they will be automatically added to the spine road because once you add it tell road three there is a junction there pds will go back to road one a and tell okay there is a, a junction at road three so we're gonna do this for the rest of the roads so general horizontal alignment road three okay select right click right click okay add junction with at the beginning and select road a and then okay accept 
And we're gonna repeat this process for the rest of the roads. So now we have all our uh, horizontal alignments done. And if I go to the utilities tab and go list junctions, you can see I can see all my junctions. Road A, road one, road A, road two. It picked them all up and tells me the chainage. So before you go start designing the vertical alignment, make sure you haven't missed any of your junctions by using the list junction command. So now the next step will be to do the vertical, then the project, insert the carriageway and then add the junction i'm gonna do only one road really quickly so if you haven't uh, seen how this is done you can check my other tutorials but i'm gonna do it very quickly for road one and then we're gonna do a montage for the rest of the roads with a magic snap we're gonna switch to our vertical palette so right click on the palette go vertical design we're gonna generate the profile we're gonna digitize we're gonna do road a and we're gonna leave the settings as they are because they're the standard ones and i'm just gonna put it here and then right click and now it's going to ask me to select the ground model you can see select pgm so models existing open and then it will prompt me again well since and you can see here it says second pgm well i don't need the second one so i'm just going to hit cancel and okay so you can see that's my road now what i want to do is i want to have a little dip at road four so you can see like road going down and then road going up just for the contours and how it's gonna do the gradings with the junction so i'm gonna draw a grade and it's for road a and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go actually once down and then one back up so where end i'm gonna snap there and then change it to free digitize gonna uh actually let's do it a hill upwards so i'm gonna go up and then down Maybe I should have done it more up, but let's modify it. So actually, let's add a curve first. So I'm going to do a preceding succeeding specify element length. I'm going to do a 20 just for the sake of it. And that's my curve. And let me find out the gradient of this line. So change design settings super flat so what i'm gonna do is start the gradient and change that to minus two actually yeah minus two should be fine and okay and done i think that it's okay usually we don't have this but hey ho it's an exercise then we it's the same thing once you finish designing your grades and curves you're gonna connect your alignment so we're gonna connect it and we're gonna select one element same process as a horizontal right click and everything is green yes and yes file it the next step is to project it so we're gonna go to master alignment project alignment hit ok select road a because that's where we're projecting and now if i rotate in 3d you can see the road being projected so basically project command marries the horizontal and vertical and draws in 3d Now we're gonna do this now we have this we need to insert our carriageway remember junctions cannot be inserted without carriageway so we're gonna go pad carriageways insert carriageway cwa dimensions let's do it is six meters road so three and the left three on the right and this is the start so i'm gonna click apply current start settings to end so we'll mirror it i'm gonna hit okay so it's a standard one it's a single carriageway i do not want to digitize the start and end i want it to automatically picked up so I'm going to hit OK and you can see my carriage was inserted. So I'm going to repeat this process for road one as well. So again, vertical design, we're going to go generate profile. We're going to digitize and make sure we select the road we want to generate, which is road one. Then what we're going to do is we're going to want to snap it nicely and clean next to it. So I'm going to go to the snap filters, point filters, go to the reference, hold right click, vertex, left click here. Click on the DX, which means difference in the X axis, type 50, and then right click. And I'm happy with the levels because it's automatically calculated. And you can see there's our profile. Now, in the same way as the horizontal alignment, there is a command to generate vertical alignment. And it's generate V alignment here. And what I want to do is tie into a carriageway at the beginning. At the end, I can digitize it. And the length of the first grade is 10 meters and then use the carriageway crossfold. So we'll go 2.5 down. So if I hit OK, and then at the bottom, it says digitize and change or hit enter for default, which is the end. You can see 53, 53 here. So I'm just going to hit enter on my keyboard. You can see that's my alignment that PDS thinks is the best that fits the profile. Obviously, I could live without the curve and just go straight down. I'm going to go connect alignment. 
Okay, I'm gonna connect it, select an element, I click, I'm happy with all this, yes. And then in the master alignment tab, I'm gonna go project alignment, I'm gonna hit OK, select road one, right click, and OK. And then I'm gonna insert the carriageway. So just so you can see a project, add carriageway, insert carriageway, a CW1, I like to have it labeled. Dimensions, I'm gonna do 2.4 and 2.4 and then apply current to start to end so you can see the overall is 4.8 and i'm gonna hit ok so now we have our carriageway so we have our carriageways and now we know that the radius of the junction is six it's a simple junction and that's what we're gonna be doing in this tutorial so i'm gonna go and freeze the channel lines just so we can see them so you can see now we have one carriage or another we want to add a radius junction so we're in the we can right click on the palette and go carriageways and features and we can go into junction or we can go to pad junctions insert junction this window is pretty straightforward it, we tell pds which two roads we're junctioning then we select between simple or complex and then we select the junction vertical geometry and then some uh, further settings so the first one i always select the main road which is road a and the second one is my road one now you can see a simple junction. I'm going to do six for each side. I hit, and then I'm going to do grade and grade. And you can see it tells me that the gradient will be on the left hand side minus 6% and on the right hand side 2%. So if I go proceed, you can see our junction has been inserted. Now, if I want to see the contour so I can understand what the grade grade does and the grade uh, left hand side and then right hand side grain one vertical and then the pair of reverse verticals i'll show you so we're gonna model the rest of the roads same way so we're gonna do the profiles for the roads draw the grade and the curves or you can generate a vertical alignment connect them and then project them and then insert your carriageway and then we're gonna add the junctions so a few moments later so now we have modeled the vertical alignments we have projected them so you can see in 3d and you see this purple and blue lines as projected and we added our carriageway so let's do the junctions as simple as that so we go to carriageway panel or right click carriageway and features and insert junction now again we main road and then the road that we're gonna connect to so that's road two and we're going to do the junction six and six and we're going to do this one let's do it pair of reverse and hit ok and you can see that we've got our m and k's values and we're going to go proceed and as you can see here we've got our our junction so now if you want to edit it let's say we want to do the nine you can go to edit junction select your junction and just simply change it to nine and we hit ok you can see now it became a nine and we're going to do the rest of the junctions insert junction digitize row three so it's row a with row three and do six and six this one we're going to do grade of one vertical and as you can see it didn't find a solution for the left hand side so it's automatically it took it to pair of opposite handed curves so that's that one done and then let's do the road four so digitize road four and we're going to do both of them as verticals proceed and then we're going to insert another carriage nope sorry we're going to insert a junction we're gonna do road five and this one let's do that one as a pair of opposite hand curves and the right hand side as a gradient and then we're gonna do road six so insert junction digitize we're gonna digitize road six you can see i didn't change road a i kept the same throughout so that's why i always say it's good for the first one to be your spine road or your main road and let's do both of them great let's see if it's gonna work it out yep there is a solution for it and we proceed so now we've got all our gradients done now if you want to annotate it we can go to annotate junction and we have two options a schedule or radius and lines so if we do a schedule all we have to do is make sure we have a text height size because if it's zero it won't work so we do okay we left click on the junction and then it's prompting us to position the left hand side so let's put it somewhere here and now it's prompting us to and then right click that we're happy with it and now it's prompting us for the right hand side so i'm just gonna enable my vertex and snap there and there you go and then it says junction returning head entity so basically we continue the command so let's say we want to do row two now left hand side so hold right click vertex right click and then hold right click vertex and then right click 
and you can keep going on for all of them but you can see you've got the start endpoints eastings and northing levels and radii so and you can see it added them here so you can identify the points now if i want to delete the annotations all i have to do is go right click to utilities and then go to annotation tab and go delete annotation and i'm gonna do the, the alignment annotation for example or junction turning head annotation that's our option we want and we just select the junction and deletes everything of it if i do this one as well you can see it deletes all the annotations now let's contour them so you can see how it works so to contour or basically triangulate your roads we'll go to pad triangulation triangulate alignment we're gonna start with road a so a digitized selected road a and we're gonna write it directly to pgm so we'd never touch this one because that actually you can touch it which just i would suggest not to because what we'll do is it will write that road model in under the road a file what we're gonna do is we want to merge eventually when we keep triangulating all the roads we want to put them all in under one pgm and for the first one we'll always do a new and we're gonna go pgm and in the models we're just gonna do all roads and we're gonna hit okay so you can see it triangulates we're not gonna initialize we're just gonna hit okay and that's it now when we go and do the second road so let's do road one Instead of new, we're going to do existing and keep it as is. And then we go OK. And then OK. So now I'm going to do my contours just so I can see what's happening. So triangulation, I don't have to switch uh, modules. And 1, 0 0.01, I think, just so we can look at it clearly. Select all roads, our ground file, and we hit OK. And you can see. That one was the grade grade, I believe, that we selected. So now if I triangulate row two, so triangulation, triangular alignment, now we do row two. And if I just hit OK, that's it. And then OK again. Then because I have my auto update enabled, it will automatically update my contours. You can see I'm happy with actually these contours, how they worked out, because they are falling towards the end. So I could either put a Gully here, which looks like the low point here. One gully there, and another gully here. And for here, you can see it falls that way because that's our center line. And I could actually stick a gully either here or here, sub or there. So let's do it all for the rest. So we go pad triangulation and digitize row three, and just hit OK because PDS will remember your settings. And what this one was, let's have a look. So let's see what we we did select on this one. So we're gonna go junction, edit junction. Just let's put them like this so we can view them. So this junction is pair of reverse and a grade on one vertical curve on the right hand side. Now this is the left hand side. Sorry, this is the left hand side of the junction. This is the right hand side. So you can see that the pair of reverse vertical is slightly different from the grade one. But the grade and one vertical is not much different, as you can see. So it depends what you're trying to achieve, basically. And you can select the option that you need. But I will be having a PDF file showing, let's say, cross section what each one means, basically. So I can help you visualize better. So I hope you find this tutorial useful and we will do another tutorial for the complex junctions. And again, you can download the files in the link below.